Okay, fourth grade, we're going to try to make a print. I know you don't have a linoleum block at home, but I would like you to try to make a print of your flamingo. The way I did this, I drew a flamingo out on cardboard, and then I cut around the flamingo image. I just had a piece of cardboard like that. You could use any kind of cardboard. You could actually use a paper plate or something like that. After I drew around it, I cut it out and ended up with this image. Now, I didn't cut the legs apart. You can see that the legs are just one long, um, wide strip. They're just too skinny to cut out. Then I put a piece of cardboard on the back and taped it so I could stamp it and use it as a print. The next thing I'm going to do is I've put a little white acrylic paint out and you can use any. I just happen to have this paint. Let's see if I can get it open here. Um, if worse comes to worse, you could use watercolor paint, but you would have to count many, many times to get the paint really thick. It'd really be better to use acrylic or tempera or something like that. So I'm going to take, all I have is red and a little bit of white in the tube, so. I'm going to mix. I'm going to mix it a little darker than I normally would. Now remember, acrylic dries darker than what you mix it. Then I'm going to take a little bit of water and mix this around. It's going to be like a real thick ink. Oh, it's kind of a nice pinky color. It will dry darker. I'm going to put just a tiny bit. Now I'm using a plastic plate, styrofoam plate. You could use an egg carton to mix this, or if you have pink, that's great. Just put a little pink in a little container like that and use that. I'm just using what I have here. You could even mix it on foil if, if you want to make a little foil dish and you don't have any paper plates left and you don't have anything to spare. Now I'm kind of making a mess here. But what I'm trying to do is get a nice rich pinky color. It doesn't have to all be the same. And now I'm going to lay this on here on the cardboard real thickly. It doesn't have to be all even because as you know from looking at pictures, flamingos feathers are all different colors of pink if they're pink. I'm even going to do the beak pink because we can always go back over it and touch it up. Now notice I'm putting it real thickly on the cardboard. Now you could paint your cardboard with white glue and let it dry, but if you print one, you can always, the acrylic paint will dry almost like a glue to make your little print stamp beautiful. Now I'm just laying lots and lots of paint on here. I'm not doing it evenly. I'm even going to dab some on here, scrape it off at the edge. Now we'll see. These are called mono prints. Now you could actually make a mono print by painting this on your table or on a cookie sheet and then putting paper down on top of it. But I just thought this would be a little more stable. Okay, let's see how this prints. You turn it over and put it down on your paper and just leave it wherever it falls. That's where you're going to print it. And then very lightly go over it. Don't push hard because you'll squish it all out of the print, out of the lines of the outside of the animal. Now prints are interesting because 
they each come out a little tiny bit differently if they're original. Make sure you go all the way around. See how I'm going all the way around this and pushing down in the middle. And all around this. And you and I are both going to see how this comes out. I don't know how it's going to come out. That's kind of the fun of prints, though. All right. Here we go. The great reveal. Hold your paper down. Voila! How fun! You have a print of a flamingo. Now you could use the same one to make a sort of a faded print back in the background here. It'll be a lot lighter and won't be as well defined. Let's see what happens with that. That's kind of a shadow print. That's what it's called, a shadow. All right, I'm going to put that up. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a paper towel and I'm going to cut it. This is to make some water rings. Cut the paper towel. You could use any paper. And now I've got like a ring. And I'm going to put a little green on this. So I'm going to take it. I don't want to mix the green with the pink. Because remember, if you mix green with anything, it's very bossy. It either makes everything around it green or it will turn it brown. And that's just green. I love green, but you have to use it very carefully. And I'm also going to put some blue. Isn't that fun? I'm so glad he, he printed pretty well. Now, if you end up with one that just doesn't work at all, try, try again. Let it dry because the ink will dry on the cardboard and make the cardboard even more stable than it is. So. I'm trying to get this blue top off the blue paint. Make sure you seal up your acrylic paint really tight after you use it because it dries out very easily. And your brushes you need to clean with soap, please. Um, otherwise you can end up with a real mess. So I'm going to take, I'm actually going to take some right out of the tube of the blue and mix it a little bit with the green and I'm going to put it on the edge. Now you could dip this, get another plate, put it on there. Let's just see how this works. Make a water ring. Oh, cool. Make them go out wider. And around the middle here, you could make a almost a complete circle. Let's see. Got some rings. Very fun. Maybe make some rings back here. Now when you finish this, you can take this same blue and you can paint the end of the beak. Now you'll have to wait for it to dry to paint the eye yellow. You could put a little dot for the middle of the eye. Very fun. So there you have a print. I don't think the yellow would 
put on the eye, but remember the eye of a flamingo is a very odd little shape. It's kind of like a donut with a black spot in the middle. So I'm going to put a little bit of yellow and I'm going to get a T90 brush and hold the brush real straight up. Remember, if you're doing details, you hold the brush almost straight up as you can and you use it almost like a marker. And you can rest your hand. There we go. It worked. I may even come in here and do a little, make the beak a little lighter because sometimes their beaks are a little different color than the rest of the body. There you go. Got a little flamingo. You want to add a little extra feathers. You can paint it on your print. Now the one in the background isn't as, it's a shadow print, but I kind of like it. All right. There you have it. A flamingo print made with cardboard. All right. Bye-bye now. Happy painting. Happy print making, I should say. All right. Bye.